How's it going everyone? This is Tricks from Meta Smash, and in this video we're going to be talking about 5 movement options that you probably don't know about. But right before we get into the video, I quickly want to make two announcements. Number one is that we've started a new tournament series called Make a Run For It, and we're going to be having tournaments every Saturday at 5pm Eastern Time. So if you're interested in competing, please be sure to check the link in the description below and sign up for free. If you are someone who is genuinely interested at becoming better at Smash Ultimate, there is no better way than competing. So please be sure to sign up. And for those of you who don't know, I have been streaming Smash Ultimate along with Call of Duty daily on Twitch. So if you'd like to get some games in Smash or team up in COD, please be sure to follow the stream. I typically go live around 7 p.m. Eastern Time and finish around 4 or 5 in the morning almost every single night, so the window of opportunity is massive. A link to my stream will be in the description as well. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So movement option number one that you might not have known about is the ability to walk by holding up on the control stick. Very often, I see people trying to walk back and forth with their character by lightly pressing left and right on the control stick, but you may accidentally start to dash and overextend, which can ultimately get you punished. But by holding up on the control stick, you can very easily manipulate your character back and forth in a very small space. This is also a great way to taunt your opponent as it's incredibly degenerate. And I'm sure if you've played enough quick play, someone has done this to you. And if you didn't know how to do this, well now you do. Movement tip number two that you might not have known about is that there are actually two different ways to tech the stage. If you hold up on the control stick, you will jump tech, and if you hold down on the control stick, you will fall tech. Notice how I have two different outcomes based on these techs. This is something that you can actually control. Movement tip number three is that you actually don't need to mash a button to get out of disadvantage. Rather than pressing shield as fast as you possibly can, instead, you can actually hold shield the moment you get hit by the first hit of a combo. As soon as your character is able to perform the action, you will air dodge. This also works with any other combo breaking move, and if you buffer that option, it'll work in the same way. This can also be used to cancel your tumble animation and negate having to tech. This is known as an A land or a B land. In many cases, players will either try and jump out a tumble or tech on the ground when you actually have way more options than that. This can help you be less predictable and get out of disadvantage much quicker. Movement tip number four that you probably didn't know about is that if you hold down on the control stick and press the C stick in either the left, right, or up direction, you can initiate a fast fall aerial at the apex of your jump. This can make your combos much faster and your short hop aerials much more consistent. And lastly, movement tip number five that you may not have known about is that if you press two jump buttons at the same time, you will get an auto short hop. For a lot of day one Smash Ultimate players, this may seem like common knowledge, but if you got this game late, there's a very good chance that you never saw this patch update and you've been trying to do short hops with a single button all this time. And although it's not impossible to do short hops with one button, Having this shortcut with two buttons may be an absolute game changer for your gameplay. And with that, that's going to be it for the video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel as we are so incredibly close to hitting 30,000 subs. And if you do enjoy the content, also please be sure to hit the notification bell to not miss a single upload. And once again, this is Trixmeta Smash saying thanks for watching the video.